I'm Randall Robertson with Artec Fabrications, and we're into building trucks to do truck things. Our motto here at Artec Fabrications is we build trucks to do truck things. And what that means to me is I build things to be structurally right, not cosmetically right. You know, I mean, they, they end up cosmetically right, but you can't have that without starting with structure. Most of the people that buy our trucks, they want to get out and use it as a truck. And some of them even work out of them. So, you know, we, we do a really nice paint job, but we don't do such a, you can't touch it kind of a build. You can't build a pretty truck if it's not going to hold the pretty up. When I was 17, I moved to Atlanta and I immediately went to work for a Mercedes-Benz repair shop. Man, I started working on Mercedes right out of my, my basement garage. A year and a half later, I've got over 100 customers. I started doing high-end restorations along with my Mercedes servicing. Another five years goes by and I'm now working on Jags and Porsches and BMWs. You know, that went on for 20 years and I got to a point where I felt like I could just semi-retire, and I did. This, this was my hobby. You know, I, I really enjoyed um, making vehicles. And one day, man, I saw this truck, and it was so cool. It was a 1972 black Chevy crew cab, and I'd never seen one before. I just decided, okay, I gotta have one, so I'll build one. Did a lot of research. There had been some other people that had built a crew cab out of the 67 to 72 body style. And, you know, there's things that I thought didn't look like something Chevy would have done. I started cutting up a bunch of vehicles until I thought I had everything that I needed to make it completely out of Chevy metal. So I just started building the, the first crew cab. Uh, Cowboy was the name of that truck. You know, everybody started commenting, hey, you know, would you build another one for somebody else? You know, would you be willing to do that? And uh, I'd say two years later, I've got five builds going on and they just keep coming in. The next build that I did was the drill sergeant. The drill sergeant was, um, man, it was a cool truck. It was a, a C50 front end on a three quarter ton suburban frame. And again, I wanted to make sure it looked like something that GM would have done and immediately that was sold. Once I sold that and Cowboy had sold, I don't have a truck, you know, it's something I, I need to build something new. So I really, I love both the trucks and I decided, hey, what about making a crew cab 50 series truck? So that's what this is. I finished the Duke two years ago. You know, there were some little things that still needed to be finished up, but I wanted to get it into the show circuit. So we started taking this, and it was not only winning awards, but people would swarm around the truck because it was just so different than, you know, all the other things out there. I do build my trucks to win the Brothers Truck Show. That is my goal every year when I build a truck, even though I know to go to SEMA. The drill sergeant won last year, and then this year, the Duke won the same award, which is out of 700 GM trucks, for two of my vehicles to win it consecutively, I'm pretty happy with that. I still really enjoy building these trucks. The biggest reward for me would be, how many of these did they make? Because I don't think I've ever seen one before. To me, that's a compliment, because I just convinced them that GM made this truck, you know, and that, that's, that's all I need.